I am inspired by movements and individuals who have changed the world and changed societies for the better. The various civil rights movements of the 1960s and 1970s will always have a special place in my heart and give me motivation to change the world. Hello, my name is Rishi Lal and I'm an educator and administrator in the Santa Cruz City Schools District. Firstly, I want to congratulate the class of 2020. You are graduating into a world we have only read about in history texts. We have read about civil rights unrest and global pandemics in the past, but it seems like these situations we've read about are now a part of our daily reality. A graduation is a successful completion of a course of study at an institution where you earn a diploma or degree. You have just earned your high school diploma. This is just the beginning. We are a species that have minds that are sharp and have taken us to the moon, landed rovers on Mars, and kept us intact in a virtual world during this global pandemic. However, we need your mind power more than ever. As our 44th president, Barack Obama, stated in his recent speech to the class of 2020, you are going to have to grow up faster than some generations. Many of our country's skeletons are surfacing and are causing your generation to wake up and understand the multiple levels of inequality in America. Don't let this be the end of your education. The more education you have contributes to a more peaceful and pluralistic society. There is more required from all of us. Yes, be angry, be mad, I'm mad. But we all need to ask ourselves, what are we going to do with our anger? Are you using it constructively or destructively? This month, 51 years ago, the queer community in Stonewell got the world's attention by fighting back against police brutality. However, it has taken multiple decades to achieve systemic changes. As a queer man of color and education, I am grateful to be married to my husband of over three years. This is possible because of the seats at the table that change makers in this world had access to. This takes years of passion, dedication, and hard work. However, the fact that my husband is a black man causes me to fear for his daily safety. Audre Lorde, American black lesbian poet and activist stated, there is no hierarchy of oppression. If anyone in society is oppressed, everyone is oppressed. We have come a long way, but there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. The act of constructing and educating ourselves to overcome challenging situations is sharper than any sword that causes destruction. We need to develop plans and actions to help strategize and mobilize towards a better future for us all. In this time of hate, racism, and oppression, we need to be smart. We need to be patient and have the ability to look beyond ourselves and work towards achieving a peaceful and loving world. We need to use every minute of our lives wisely. Each minute is precious. We have so many of our queer ancestors that have lost their lives far too early. In honor of them, use your minutes to find more seats at tables to help create change. As Killer Mike, rapper and activist stated, instead of burning down our homes, we need to fortify them. 
We need to be smart and use our minds to make them stronger by reading, writing, and speaking the actions of the world we want, then voting it into place. It is in the hands of this generation to continue the work of our ancestors and honor their lives by not wasting a minute of ours. I want to leave you with one piece of advice. Live your life with intention every day. Graduation symbolizes closing one chapter and is also the beginning of a new lifelong journey. You determine your intention every minute. Embracing our intersectionalities shows that we really do need each other to create change. Together we can achieve a better world and I'm grateful that the class of 2020 is the one to help do so. Congratulations and thank you. As an LGBTQIA student, I am most proud of the fact that I made it through high school when I never thought I would make it this far. Caleb Lennon, Cypress Charter High School. Hey everybody, my name is Ashlyn Adams. I use she, her pronouns, and it is my great honor to be welcoming the graduating class of 2020, as well as their friends and family, advocates and allies. We are living in historic times. I'm sure you've all heard that one recently, but I want you to remember that this is historic for you. You are taking your place in this world, in history, in the future. You are at a save point in your journey, not an end, because what's a journey? It's not an end, it's not a destination, it's not time spent. A journey is a series of changes. It's you shaping yourself into who you are. Graduation doesn't just mean that your circumstances change, it means that you continue to evolve. You've already learned that life is a wild ride. It's not gonna get much easier now that you're leveling up. Um, in fact, the coaster that you're on is probably just starting to pick up speed. You do have a few things on your side though. You have everything you've learned so far. You have your own personal commitments to growth and empathy. You've got your resilience and your humor, definitely keep those. Another thing you have is community. No matter what happens next or further down the line, you know that your queer siblings and babies and parents all have your back. We have your back. I'm glad that things will never be the same as they are right now, because that means our big old quilt bag family gets more of you. So congratulations to the queer grads of 2020. I can't wait to see how you rise. And between me and you, don't forget to act up a little. Hi grads, my name is Tyler Williamson. I use he, him, his pronouns, and I'm a co-chair for Monterey Peninsula Pride. I also have the honor of serving the residents in the city of Monterey as one of their council members. Congratulations to all the 2020 graduates and especially for those who I'm so honored to speak to, the queer and trans graduates. You did it, and you will take with you the grit, persistence, and tenacity that has allowed you to make it this far. I wanna celebrate all those that are out and are able to proudly display your sexuality and or gender to your loved ones in the world. There are still many who struggle in this regard, and your courage creates a space for those who are still in the closet to know there's a community on the other side just like them. This endeavor for us to be who and what we are is a struggle, more for some than others, but it's especially true in times like this. COVID-19 is one thing, mind you, a big one thing, but on top of that, we're dealing with yet another senseless murder at the hands of a cop, this time the murder of George Floyd. Being queer is often difficult. Being a person of color is often difficult. Being queer and a person of color offers a unique set of challenges that highlights why intersectionality has become such a buzzword in our community. It's that space where those complexities of being from an underrepresented group collide and create an explosion of struggle so intense it often results in emotional instability, use of alcohol and or drugs, homelessness, suicide, the list goes on. And rather than getting the support needed from their loved ones and their community, rejection and belittlement are often the response to those who just need a little love. Speaking of love, 
I'm at where I'm at today because of the amazing people who came into my life and supported my efforts to better myself. During college, I was inspired by a black man running for president, so changed my major from biochem, I wanted to be a doctor, to political science, started an internship with my congressman, and I volunteered on the Obama campaign. Move forward in 2012, I signed up to be a fellow on Obama's re-election campaign, and after three weeks of starting a campaign team in my community, they offered me a position that led to me running the campaign for the city of San Francisco. I want to share two things from my experience from the campaign. First, I came out working on the campaign. Now, mind you, it was in San Francisco with the office smack dab in the middle of the Castro, but I was 26, and to many of my peers, I was a late bloomer. The second thing about the campaign was it was built on a community organizing model. Think a snowflake, where one local activist in the community can be empowered to take ownership of small organizing teams. After the campaign was over, I came back home and utilized the community organizing model as a co-founder of Monterey Peninsula Pride. We hosted the first Pride on the Monterey Peninsula in over a decade, and I've held a Pride event every year since. After getting involved with Pride and other community organizations, several community members asked me to run for city council. I thought, what better way of giving back to the people who welcomed and accepted me into the community? I had no clue what I was doing, how to run a campaign, raise money, campaign strategizing, none of that. A community member told me to sign up for a training called Victory Institute, a program that identifies and prepares a diverse pipeline of future LGBTQ leaders to advance equality. I went to the training and learned the fundamentals. I ran a community-driven campaign, knocking on doors, listening to residents, particularly the most vulnerable and often those not heard at council meetings. I ran against two incumbents up for re-election and a fourth candidate who was also running for the first time. I not only got that W on election day, I was the top vote getter, beating both the incumbents. It shocked everybody, including myself. The experience taught me to believe in myself because despite all the haters out there, you're doing this work for all the right reasons. Even now, a year and a half into my term, I'm often alone in pushing an issue that gives voice to those who are often unheard. It's often challenging spiritually, mentally, but keep in mind all of the beautiful people I'm fighting for. I reflect on all those struggles that gave me my grit, persistence, and tenacity and tell myself to keep putting one foot in front of another. Which leads me to my ask. Many of you probably feel politics isn't for you, but you know what? Those who tend not to seek power are the exact individuals we need in power. When you're not making your voice heard, I can guarantee you those who don't want things to change are speaking their perspective loud and clear. So please get involved, whether it's writing a letter, running for office, participating in a demonstration like the Black Lives Matter demonstrations happening all over the world right now. You should, you must get involved. At the very least, make sure you vote and make sure your friends and loved ones are voting. It's not just about the national election. It's actually all those state and local elections where you can really affect change in our communities. I promise you this, the rewards for giving and being part of the change that are much needed in our society outweigh the struggle. Life experiences will tell otherwise, but keep putting one foot in front of another and you will make a difference. Congratulations again, and hope to see you out there. Bye. And congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Adrian Francisco Nunez Ramon. My pronouns are he and him. I want to share a memory with you. In high school, at Pajaro Valley High, our GSA annually celebrated National Coming Out Day, cheering and dancing as I walked through a rainbow painted door that showed me the support to accept myself for who I was even when other people did not. Being part of a community that supported and loved me, surrounding myself with positivity and great people, my high school GSA helped me advocate for me. I'm here now in support of you. We're all proud of you. We're all advocating for you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. Congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. Hi, graduates. Let me be one of the many to congratulate you on graduating middle school and high school. I wish you in this time the opportunity to celebrate. Celebrate how far you've come and 
Breathe into the excitement of what you will create next. As we practice celebrating, we also thank the people that have helped us come this far. We thank ourselves, we thank our friends and our family. And I'm so excited to see you all out there in the world. So once again, congratulations to the Queer and Trans Class of 2020. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Shang and I am the artist and photographer behind The Fearless Project, a photo series on out LGBTQ athletes on high school and college sports teams. I'm uh, recording this from Thousand Oaks, California and I'm in my childhood bedroom because I'm sheltering in place with my parents right now uh, during coronavirus, I'm helping them out with some groceries. And uh, one of the things that happened when I was uh, staying here, I, I moved back here like two months ago, uh, was driving by my old high school and seeing all the places that uh, I remember growing up. Um, and one of the things is that I wasn't out in high school. Uh, and that was something I, I couldn't do. And I played varsity tennis on the high school tennis team. Um, there's some trophies right there. And, uh, you know, I, it was one of these things that was a big uh, part of my life where when I went to college, I quit tennis and I came out. And because of my experience doing this um, later after graduating from college, I decided to work on this photo series, um, highlighting the experiences of closeted um, people who used to be closeted in sports, but now were out on their high school and college sports teams. And I called the project Fearless and I wound up exhibiting this work around the world and publishing a book on it and, and speaking about homophobia in sports and transphobia in sports. And at the time in high school, you know, where I met right where you are right now, I had no idea this was going to be my life. Um, I didn't realize I was going to A, come out, B, become an LGBTQ activist and, and C, do something really powerful for the world. And I want all of you to realize that, that your future is incredible. It's, it's bright, it's, you've got so much to look forward to. Um, you know, the world is, is so big and you're gonna make the biggest difference in it. And I, and I want you to find what you love and, um, and to make that impact. Um, and, and when you do it, you're not gonna know. You know, it's like when I was working on this photo series, I had no clue what would happen with it. Um, but, you know, follow your dreams and, um, be safe out there and I, I you know I just want to say when this is all over um, my dog over there and I will <laughs> hopefully say hi to you in, in person and um, and I want to say congratulations on um, a huge achievement with graduation right now thank you so much Bye, everyone. hello and congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020 my name is Joaquin Garcia and I'm a graduate of Pacific Collegiate School PCS as well as Princeton University as of this spring after several years on medical leave. One of my uh, friends, mentors, confidants, teachers, Cornell West uh, has famously said that justice is what love looks like in public. And so gesturing towards uh, this year's graduation theme, uh, I just want to uh, say that a lot awaits you, uh, many different kinds um, and many different worlds await you upon graduation. Uh, and whatever plans you have, uh, college or otherwise, um, I'm gonna be real. Uh, these worlds are not necessarily in so many ways better than the ones uh, you inhabited now uh, as uh, Dan Savage might have it, um, but they nonetheless are expanded worlds in many ways, worlds full of um, joy and beauty uh, and community. Um, and also, you know, um, their fair share of pain, uh, loss, etc. cetera. Um, but like I said, worlds that are likely very much expanded from the ones you've uh, experienced up to this point in your life. Um, and you should, I think, be really excited about uh, the opportunity to expand, um, to expand the kinds of worlds you're a part of, um, you want to partake in um to to have a shot at creating queer and other kinds of communities intersectional communities um you're just you're just getting started so again congratulations uh and i'll sign off see you hello my name is Ellis olivas i'm a fourth year student at the university of california riverside and in 2015 i was both a queer youth leadership awardee and a graduate of scotts valley high school 
overall I had a very good experience in high school. I had good friends who supported me, I wasn't bullied, and the academics weren't too difficult for me either. But I know that that's not everyone's experience, so if you had a harder time, I want to congratulate you for making it through. I also want to offer some encouragement to folks who, like me, both now and five years ago when I was graduating from high school, are a little bit nervous about what's going to happen after graduation. As young people, we're often expected to know from a very young age what we want to do for the rest of our lives. And that way of thinking has actually discouraged me from making plans about the future because I always feel like, well, any good plan would require steps that I've already missed the opportunity for. Even though I know that there are lots of things that I still could do. So I'm trying to unlearn that way of thinking. When I was home for winter break a few months ago, I went to see Frozen 2 with my mom, and there was a line in that movie that I think put it well. Just do the next right thing. And I've made that my motto. Rather than worrying about what I'm going to be doing years down the line, I'm focused more on what do I want to do directly after graduation, and what can I be doing now to help prepare for that? Because especially in a time like this when there's so much uncertainty, it's obvious that even if I thought I had a plan for what would happen years down the line, I won't know exactly what my life is going to look like then. And I suppose it's possible that the first job that I get right out of college is going to be something that I absolutely love and will want to stick with for decades. But statistically, that's probably not going to happen. However, almost certainly it will teach me something. And I hope I can use that new perspective to help decide what is the next right thing after that, even though I don't know right now what that would be. Thank you. Hi, my name is Danielle Elizalde and my pronouns are she, her. I'm a past awardee of the Queer Leadership Award as well as a recipient of the Equality Scholarship in 2008. I enjoy activism and helping my community, which is why you can currently find me working hard as a Pajaro Valley Pride board member. Community is really important. It's in times like these that you fully grasp that. I can tell you from personal experience that there's nothing quite like building your community through helping others and standing up for those who don't have a voice. I encourage each and every one of you to get out there and get involved. And if you already are, to continue to be through this next stage in your life. It will keep you connected and grounded even through uncertain times. So all you graduating middle and high schoolers, you have now officially moved on to your next adventure. How does it feel? It may seem scary. I've been in your shoes. But don't worry. You have all these people standing behind you, rooting you on. So... Celebrate with the community you built for yourself because you deserve it. Congratulations, Queer and Trans Class of 2020. Hello, LGBTQIA plus Class of 2020. Congratulations. My name is Jennifer Holm. I serve on the Pajaro Valley Unified School Board of Trustees, and I'm bi. I know from my own experience that this particular milestone can come with its own set of challenges. Maybe you're out and proud. Maybe you have shared your authentic self with only a few trusted allies. Or maybe you're more like I was at your age and you haven't said anything to anybody. Wherever you're at, that's fine. This is your journey and you have the right to set the pace. As I'm recording this, we are approaching Pride Month. This time of year has taken on particular significance and meaning for me. More and more, I recognize the importance of having a community of people that love, support, and respect you, and I found that. I don't need to exhort you to be leaders. The simple fact that you are participating in this today means that you already are a leader. I have benefited from those who paved the way before me, 
I hope that I and my generation have made things a little easier for you. And I truly hope that you carry that torch forward, that you make the way a little easier for those who follow you, and that we can all find a world of love and acceptance. Know that those of us within the community, we see you, we see your beauty, we love you, and we are so very, very proud of you. Take care. Hello there, my name is Lita Valla. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and I identify as a woman of transgender experience. I use she and hers for my pronouns. Um, I'm just taking this opportunity to congratulate you all um, for graduating, um, whether it's high school or middle school and moving on to the next step in your life's journey. Um, and I feel like it's also an opportunity for me to mention that um, with you all being the class of 2020, um, the importance of having 2020 vision, clear vision essentially, um, in terms of how you move forward into your next steps in life. Um, equally important is how people view you and how they see you and that they see you as your authentic self um, in every single way that you are um, with all your identities. And so um, part of my identities include being a godmother to several trans women of color as well as being an artist, an athlete, poet, and a philosopher, um, I find that my own memories of graduation were rather bittersweet um, as I wasn't living my authentic self, my authentic life. Um, and so no one would have ever guessed that day that by looking over at me that I was a woman. Um, and so I'm so proud of you all for not only graduating, moving on, um, but doing it as your authentic selves. Um, and I'm sure it wasn't easy. And I'm sure in a lot of ways, some of you feel like there's still a lot more authenticity to come out. And please do that at your own pace um, with what you're comfortable with. And I'm just overall just so excited that um, a lot of you are going to be future leaders for our community. And I look forward to all the change that you're going to bring into the world. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Hello everyone, my name is Adrian. I use they them pronouns and I am one of the 2016 Queer Youth Leadership Awardees as well as one of the Grand Marshals of 2016 Santa Cruz Pride. So hello, thank you so much for letting me be here and of course a huge, huge, huge congratulations to the Queer and Trans Class of 2020. Holy moly, y'all made it. Um, you know, for the sake of not being cheesy, right? Like I really want you to be able to, to take this moment to really arrive, right? And to really to soak in this sense of accomplishment and to soak in this sense of like, yes, I did it, you know, be proud of this because, you know, it's huge. And it's something that, you know, a lot of folks, um, don't know if they're going to be able to right get to this point. And so I just really want you to be able to give yourself that credit, um, and to really like, to just really soak it in. <laughs> um, you know, I think that's one of the most beautiful things about like queer and trans folks, right. Is this right notion of, resilience. And I think that, you know, being able to overcome barriers, being able to bounce back from whatever hardships come at us, right, is something that is very ingrained into our community. And I think that moving forward into, you know, whatever journey you move into next, right, I really want you to keep that notion of resiliency in the back of your mind, you know, to know that you are resilient and to know that you are able to set yourself up for success. And I think that, you know, there are a lot of different ways in which we're resilient and finding that can be hard sometimes finding, you know, the ways that work for us. But I think that, you know, if there's anything that I can do or anything that I could say, right, is that I really hope that you're able to, to keep that in the back of your mind, you know, and with every interaction that you, you encounter to bring yourself, your authentic self into that because your voice matters and you matter. And so, yeah, I'm just so, so, so excited for every single one of you. And I'm really proud of you too, right? Because we're all part of the same community. And so, um, yeah, I'm really excited. And thank you so much, everybody. Peace in, congrats. Hey, class of 2020, my name is Dieter. I live in Barcelona. Uh, I go by he and him. And I'm a writer for the Wall Street Journal. Um, it's a really crazy time for you guys to be graduating. It was a crazy time when I was graduating, but there's no way it was anywhere near as crazy as what you guys are going through. Um, you know, I went to Apples High for a while. Then I went, eventually went to this little school called Delta, 
high school at Cabrillo College. Uh, I ended up being at Cabrillo for about four years before I was able to transfer to University of California, Santa Cruz. It was about around then, like later on at Cabrillo and uh, UCSC, that I started to realize that I wanted to be a journalist. I first started getting started with journalism at the student newspaper there. And things started taking off from there, and I just, you know, went tenaciously for every single opportunity, every single, you know, blogs that I don't even want to talk about where I wrote for. Um, I got fired from a lot of places that I wrote for, got a lot of rejections, and my biggest advice to you, I guess, because I'm supposed to give you some advice, is to just be persistent and keep on going. That's really all I have to say. And if you want to be a writer, like you have to stick with it because it's a competitive industry and no one really takes you seriously unless you keep on bothering them. Um, anyways, congratulations on graduating. My name is Dr. Lauren Esposito. I use she, her pronouns and I am a biologist at the California Academy of Sciences, and I'm queer. To the graduating queer and trans class of 2020, congratulations. This is a monumental moment in your lives. It's a moment of excitement. It's a moment of uncertainty about the future. And it's a moment to celebrate yourselves and what you've managed to accomplish so far. When there's any transition in life, it brings a great deal of opportunity. There's the opportunity to reimagine yourself, the opportunity to find your community, the opportunity to figure out what path in life is gonna make you happiest. And most importantly, the opportunity to change the world. So I challenge all of you to go out and find that thing that makes you the most happy that will help you make this world a better place. A couple of years ago, I started a visibility campaign for LGBTQ people working in STEM and STEM supporting careers. I started it because I felt alone, because I didn't know if there was a place for me as a queer person to work in science. And I wanted to find out if there were other people out there in the world feeling the same. So I started collecting stories and publishing them on a website. And the stories were simply people celebrating their identities as somebody in queer or trans, somebody and somebody celebrating their accomplishments in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's those accomplishments that propel society forward. In this moment of crisis, we need people who think differently to help propel us forward. When I graduated high school 20 years ago, the world was a very different place. I grew up in the border of the US and Mexico in the state of Texas, and I grew up in a Hispanic community, and it was a community that I celebrate. I celebrate the richness of the culture, but it was also a community where the culture sometimes made me question whether the way that I felt and the way that I identified was wrong. So when I graduated from high school at 16, I was graduating not because I was exceptional, but rather because it was the only way that I was gonna be able to move forward in life. It was graduate or drop out. So I chose the path to move forward. I enrolled in college. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but eventually I became a biologist and discovered that I have a passion for studying the natural world around me. Now, I have a master's and a PhD, and I spend my life traveling the world documenting the plants and animals that share this globe with us. This is the, my role in propelling science forward. So as you move forward into your own path and figuring out what that is, just remember a few things. One, you have a place there. Two, all of us have intersectional identities. And it's really important to remember that you should use those aspects of your intersectionality that are privileged to lift up those around you 
that are not, that are struggling with being trans and can ha receive support from their cis colleagues or peers that are struggling with being black and can receive support from their white peers, that are struggling with being a woman and can re receive support from their male peers. Remember these things as you move forward as a community to celebrate yourselves and support one another at the same time. With that, I'd like to say congratulations, go forward into the world, but remember, you are not alone. Hi everyone, my name is Kayo Blennon, my pronouns are he, him, and I'm the Gender and Sexuality Alliance President at Cypress High School. Even though it isn't possible for all of us to be here together today, I still feel such a strong sense of community with everyone who is here. My four years at Cypress, and even more than that involved in the community, have been so special to me. Recently, I was talking to a friend about graduation, and she pointed out that when I was in middle school, I didn't even know if I was going to make it to high school. And that struck me because so many times along the way, it did feel impossible to keep going. But somehow I made it here. We all made it here. I know I wouldn't be here today without my community, both in and outside of school. My goal during the time I've been Cyprus's GSA president was to create a space that felt like home. A safe space, a fun space, a serious space where everyone could be heard. I wanted to honor everyone's need for something specific that they might be missing in another aspect of their lives. I think that's one of the most special things about GSAs, QSAs, and sagas. We have made such tremendous progress, and even though we still have more to go, the fact that all of us have been living through that and fighting for that justice, even just by existing, is something to be so proud of. I hope you're able to hold that pride in your heart, not just for our community, but for ourselves. So congratulations to my fellow 2020 LGBTQIA plus graduates. We did it. Hello fellow graduates. I am Linus, I use they them pronouns, and I'm a graduating senior of SoCal High School. I understand that in this time, it can be particularly stressful because we didn't get to do the things that we wanted to do or accomplish goals that we got to succeed on. This can all be very upsetting. But just remember that in the LGBT community, and with the LGBT graduation, the purpose of this event is to embolden each other, to empower each other, to encourage, strengthen, show empathy and love, not just towards other fellow members, but also to find the love in yourself, the love and the patience that you need to continue going forward. I know that we can all do it. So let's all put our best foot forward and congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello, my name is Reyes morales Warney. I go by he, him, they, them pronouns. I'm the GSA president at San Lorenzo Valley High School. Congratulations on making it to the next step. I know things might be hard, but they will get better. For you graduating seniors, make sure you take time for self-care. And for you graduating middle schoolers, make sure you get to know yourself in high school. Things are much different. Most importantly, congratulations to the queer graduating class of 2020. Hi, I'm Chloe Ray. I'm graduating from SoCal High this year. Um, I use she, her, and hers pronouns, and I identify as queer. I wanted to take this moment to, first of all, say, what's up, class 2020? Vibe. Um, but to also pay tribute to those of us in the graduating class of 2020 who are part of the LGBTQAI plus community, but unfortunately are living in households or being quarantined in households in which it's difficult for us to be openly out and proud. Pride is celebrated on a daily basis, just as the celebration that you're witnessing right now. And every time it's celebrated, it is celebrated among all of us, everyone who identifies as not straight or not cisgendered, not just those of us who are able to show it and live comfortable out and proud lives. So let's celebrate this accomplishment of high school to those of us who have struggled and to those of us who are still struggling and the graduation of middle school as well. I know these past four years or three years, that stuff is hard. <laughs> I know, <laughs> yeah, and to those of us who are still struggling especially, we see you. And that's why it's especially important to celebrate our allies and friends and families and those who support 
the LGBTQAI plus graduating class of 2020. I'm so grateful for the support we have and you can see an example of that here for those of us and for those who are trying to celebrate this community right now. Um, congratulations. I, I won't try to ignore or pretend like we're not in one of the most trying times and one of the most defining times in our lives and in America's history. So just as the Stonewall riots are, is an event that we worship in the queer community in regards to providing us liberty in society, we must worship the work of the black rights movements and riots right now. It's not the most convenient time for us, class of 2020. But perhaps it's the best in providing us the most opportunity to ensure the futures that we want. What we do now is paramount for the rest of our lives, and I trust, know, and believe that we have the strength, power, and will to figure it out. So to all of us closeted out, comfortable, not comfortable, struggling, or thriving, we've made it this far. Don't stop pushing. Don't stop chasing for what you believe in and acting on the changes that you know need to happen. Thank you all for being in this community with me. And I wish you so many things. Most of all, I wish everyone in the graduating class of 2020 in the LGBTQAI plus community, the liberty to be yourself. I've never let my identity halt or thwart my progress slash success as a student. Embracing my true self has only helped ground me in working towards my goals. Chloe Ray Adolfo, SoCal High School. Hello, my name's John Laird. I was one of the first openly gay mayors in the United States when I was elected mayor of Santa Cruz 37 years ago. And I have fought through the years for rights to marry, for students, uh, to be able to be full members of our society. Today, we're celebrating your work. Uh, you have worked hard to get to this place and I couldn't be prouder to you. It's a day of achievement. It's a day of celebration. So congratulations to the LGBT and trans class of this year. Uh, I wish you luck in everything you do and uh, we're gonna move ahead together. Congratulations. Hello everyone. My name is Justin Cummings, Mayor of the City of Santa Cruz. And I'd like to thank you for inviting me to speak to the first Santa Cruz LGBTQ plus high school middle school and junior high graduation ceremony. I'm sure that this is not what any of you were expecting for your graduation. However, I want you to know that what you're doing is something that many of us have never experienced and will never experience. In isolation from your friends, your teachers, and from your coaches, you were able to figure out a way to continue to go to class, turn in all your assignments, and graduate. And you should be proud of that because these are very difficult times, and I'm sure that it was pretty challenging for all of you. But just know that life is gonna be full of challenges as you move forward, and with perseverance, hard work, and a good positive mindset, you'll be able to achieve all your goals. There will be times when you fail, but just know that if you're determined, you'll be able to get back up and you will succeed. And as people who identify as LGBTQ, you will definitely face discrimination at points in your life, but know that there are people out there who love you, who care about you, who will fight for you, and who will fight with you so that you can have the rights that we all deserve for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I wanna thank you all again for having me, and remember to thank your coaches and your parents and friends who stood by you and by your side through all these difficult times. And just remember, if you have a good outlook on life, good things will come to you. Congratulations again on all your achievements, and remember that we're all in this together. There are no words to describe how special today's ceremony is going to be. Whether you're graduating from middle school or high school, this is going to be part of the many accomplishments you're going to attain in your life. As queer and trans students, you are currently living and surviving in a worldwide pandemic. 
you're living in a world where love, peace, and joy is not given to all. When I graduated from Watsonville High School, I cried. In part, I cried because of joy, but more so I cried because I didn't know what the future held for me. But I congratulate you because I know you're going to live a life standing proudly and not a life kneeling and being hopeless. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Anna Eshoo, and it's an honor to be with you to celebrate your graduation. I have the privilege of representing California's 18th Congressional District, which includes the San Lorenzo Valley, Scotts Valley, and the North Coast. My pronouns are she and her. I'm very happy that the Queer Youth Task Force of Santa Cruz County invited me to speak to you today. So congratulations to the LGBTQIA plus class of 2020 for your hard work and dedication to bring you to this moment. I'm proud of your accomplishments and your work to overcome the challenges you faced, especially over the last few months. In the early 1980s, a group of gay and lesbian constituents approached me and asked if I would be willing to endorse the creation of a new organization to advance their rights and protect them from discrimination. When they came to me, almost no other elected official in the community would stand with them. But I thought that it was the right thing to do, in my judgment, and so I said yes. Today, saying yes to that request would be a no-brainer, but at the time, it was an, an intimidating proposition. It's one of my proudest moments. John Laird was a dear, dear friend of mine uh, and the first openly gay mayor in the United States fought for our freedom of sexual identity when he was mayor of Santa Cruz during the 1980s. You're the future of our country, and I look forward to witnessing the changes you will advocate for and the difference you will make, whether in science, technology, education, the arts, or even in politics. Whatever you do, do it like John. Bring people with you and never be afraid of who you are. Bravo on your graduation and all my best as you move on to the next chapter of life. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, I'm Congressman Jimmy Panetta, and I wanna congratulate the LGBTQIA plus class of 2020. Now I know this isn't exactly the type of graduation you were expecting, but I do hope that as you take this time to reflect on everything that you've done, you also realize that when it comes to your future, there's so much more you have yet to do. Academically and personally, I know you've learned a lot over the past few years. However, going forward, be it with your education or be it with your life, there really is so much more for you to do, and not just for you, but for our community. And by taking part in this ceremony, it demonstrates it. By taking part in this ceremony, by being out to the extent that you are, you provide hope and support for those who feel that they are not yet able to. By being out, you educate the community that you live in. And by being a part of this community, you are not only educating, you are contributing so much. Yes, to your education and development, but also to those who have come before us and built the road forward. And yes, to those who will come after us making it easier for all of us to be on that road together. So congratulations, but also thank you. We appreciate all that you have done and we look forward to watching all that you will do. Thank you, congratulations. Hello class of 2020. I am State Senator Ana Caballero and my pronouns are she, her, hers. First, let me thank you for the opportunity to salute you today and join you electronically. What a milestone today represents. I am so proud of your perseverance and hard work and ability to set goals for yourself. I wanna congratulate all the LGBTQIA high school, junior high and middle school graduates of the class of 2020. Navigating school, homework and a social life as a teenager and an out member of the LGBTQIA community can be difficult but you all have reached an important milestone today worthy of celebration. And I know your families are proud of you, and I know I am. Please know 
that for those of you who cannot be out, as an ally, know that I stand with you, as do many others, and we honor you today as well. May all your future endeavors as proud LGBTQIA plus community members in the Tri-County area, Monterey, San Benito, and Santa Cruz County be bright. Continue your education and reach for the stars. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, this is Assemblymember Mark Stone. I'm here to congratulate our queer youth and their allies who are graduating here in the year of 2020. It's been an interesting year with shelter in place and changes in school schedules and how people get together or not. And it has precluded our ability to get together and celebrate this significant victory, but we celebrate it nonetheless. We appreciate all of the work that you have done, the struggles that you have had to get to this point, and it is a significant milestone in your lives. Congratulations on all of the hard work that has gotten you to this point. I wanna thank the teachers and those who have guided queer youth and their allies through these momentous times and getting, helping them build character and, and build their lives to the point where they now can celebrate this achievement. We also know that not everyone is safe and it's not just because of the pandemic, but the situations that they have found themselves in, in their homes and their communities. But the more we band together, as we have found during this pandemic, the more we support each other, the stronger everyone is going to be. So the future is bright. As we come out of the current situation, there still is a lot of work to do and a lot of community to build. That is what you have been doing over these last number of years. That is what you will continue to do. So again, congratulations. I look forward to a very bright future with all of you. And I hope that you are safe and doing well. And we, I know we'll get together and celebrate in the very near future. Congratulations. Hello, this is John Leopold, Santa Cruz County Supervisor. And I just wanna wish you congratulations on completing school. You've already done a lot, whether it be in the classroom with your grades or in life, as you face new challenges in figuring out who you are and what you wanna be in our community. I just want you to know that you have already done more than many people your age. Starting the journey of self-discovery uh, to figure out who you are and who you wanna love is an important part of life. Overcoming discrimination, uh, those close to you or in your school is a big deal. And struggling for acceptance uh, with all those groups also means that you've developed new skills that will help you throughout your entire life. I want you to know that even during these times of social distancing, we, the community, are here to support you, whether it be in your family, your school, local government, or with community-based organizations. We care about you and we want you to be successful. We will always be here to love you, to lead with you, and to work with you to make sure that there is full civil equality for all people in Santa Cruz County and beyond. Know that as you move on in life, whether it be to another school or into your career, you will always have the support of people here in Santa Cruz County. We love you very much and we care about you. And we wanna offer our congratulations to you on this important day. Thank you for being who you are. Hi, my name is Randy Johnson. I'm the mayor of Scotts Valley. Just wanted to take a moment to congratulate the class of 2020 and the great accomplishment that you've achieved. The LGBTQIA community salutes you as do I. And I just want to take a moment also to tell you that, you know, you've been thrown a little bit of a curveball with your ceremony and uh, circumstances, but I know you're resilient. I know that you will face this world. Sometimes it's not fair. We always know it's not going to be easy, but you're prepared now to do what you have to do when, as you face the new challenges ahead. I would also ask you to take a moment to thank the people around you, including your friends, your family, your parents, the teachers that help you get the way you are. So you did it. Congratulations and hope the, the future is bright and beautiful for all of you. 
Hey everybody, congratulations. Jimmy Dutra here, former mayor pro tem for the city of Watsonville. I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you and congratulations and way to go. You know, we went through some really difficult times and you all worked very hard and your generation showed some great leadership. And I just wanna make sure that you are acknowledged for that. So remember, when you go out into the real world, in the words of Peter Pan, the moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. Have a good one, congratulations. Hi, this is Donna Myers. I'm the vice mayor of the city of Santa Cruz. My wife and I wanted to uh, wish you all a happy graduation. Uh, the queer and trans youth of our community are our future leaders. I want you to know that you have a great future ahead of you. Uh, there's much work to do for our community. We need leaders like you coming up and uh, don't let the current situation get you down. You need to be uplifting your spirits right now. And I want you to know that you have a bright future ahead of you. And uh, there's so much love in the world for who we are and what we stand for. So go out, enjoy the day, um, love up your families. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Yvette Brooks, and this is my daughter, Sedona. I am the vice mayor for the city of Capitola. I go by the pronouns her and she. I just wanted to say congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. Congrats class of 2020. I am Adam Spickler, your queer trustee for Cabrillo College. Penny and I are here to say congratulations. In all years, this has been such a tough one, but you did it, you made it and we are so incredibly proud of you. The world is a better place because you are in it. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations to the LGBTQIA class of 2020. I'm Zach Friend and I'm a county supervisor. And you know, it's often said that graduates are our future, but I really believe that you are our present. We need your creativity, your skills, your soul, and your heart right now. I couldn't be more proud of you. And if I can do absolutely anything for you as you go on this journey, please don't hesitate to reach out. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, I'm Jack Dewis, current city council member and former mayor for the city of Scotts Valley, extending hearty congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. Best of luck in the future. Hi, this is Cynthia Matthews on the Santa Cruz City Council, she, her, hers. And I'm delighted to be part of this virtual celebration, bringing together your family, friends, and community, celebrating all your achievements to date and all the wonderful possibilities ahead. Congratulations, best wishes to the queer trans class of 2020. You guys rock, congrats. Hi, my name is Martine Watkins. I am a current city council member, former mayor, pronouns she, her, and congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. You make us proud, wishing you the absolute best on your journey from here. Hey everyone, I'm the third district county supervisor, Ryan Coonerty. I prefer he and him. And I just wanna wish all the queer and trans graduates a very happy graduation on behalf of me and all the residents of Santa Cruz County. You did it. Greetings and saludos from your ex-mayor, Francisco Paco Estrada. My pronouns are he, him. On behalf of the Watsonville City Council and the people of Watsonville, it is my privilege to be able to honor and celebrate our graduating trans and queer class of 2020. And even though I know that this isn't the graduation you had envisioned, please know that we love and are proud of each of you and everything you have done to make it to this point. I look forward to having all of you go out into the world, explore who you are, explore your passions, and come back and make Watsonville a better place for all of us. So on behalf of the Watsonville community, I once again just want to say congratulations, thank you, we love you, and good luck. I have pride in being gay and proud. John Robert Armstrong III, Santa Cruz High School. My name is Ferris Sabah. My pronouns are he and him. I have the honor of serving as your county superintendent of schools. Now I know you didn't imagine celebrating your graduation this way, staying at home, away from your friends, and wearing a mask every time you leave the house. We use words like unprecedented and uncharted waters to describe the times we're living in. But it's an adversity that we're tested 
and our true character is revealed. These tough days don't take away from your accomplishments or the need for us to celebrate. As a queer and trans student, your struggle has been great and your accomplishments even greater. It is this struggle and your resilience that are inspiring to, to me and so many others. On behalf of every superintendent in Santa Cruz County and the County Office of Education, I'd like to tell you that we stand with you, dear graduates. We stand with you and your family and friends who supported you. We stand with you as you confront ignorance, prejudice, and hate. We stand with you as you face a future with courage and compassion. These waters may be uncharted, but I couldn't think of a better crew to lead us and get us through them. With hope and pride, we stand with you. Congratulations, Queer and Trans Class of 2020. Hi everyone, I am Gail Levine, a school board member of the San Lorenzo Valley Unified School District. And I am honored to be invited to address the class of 2020. Frustration, anger, disappointments, loneliness, boredom, maybe even deprived of physical contact with your friends and may be denied the excitement of a new relationship. Let's let today's experiences give you strength and as you go forward in your life. I wish you all wisdom and courage as you forge ahead. And remember to keep smiling and enjoy these experiences. Greetings, everybody. My name is Scott Turnbull, and I'm the superintendent of SoCal Union Elementary School District. And I just wanted to say congratulations to the LGBTQIA plus class of 2020. Congratulations to the amazing and resilient class of 2020. I am Dr. Michelle Rodriguez, your superintendent of schools. Hi, I'm Chris Monroe, superintendent of Santa Cruz City Schools, and I want to extend my congratulations to the LGBTQIA class of 2020. Good afternoon, graduates of 2020. My name is Kristen Schaus, the assistant superintendent of Pajaro Valley Unified School District. Hi, my name's Cindy Rainey, and I'm president of the Santa Cruz City Schools Board of Education. My preferred pronouns are she, her, and hers. Hi, and I'm Shelley James, and my preferred pronouns are she, her, and hers. Hi, my name is Jeremy Ray, I'm a member of the Live Oak School Board, and I want to congratulate the queer and trans class of 2020 on your accomplishments. Hi, I'm Valerie, and I'm the GSA advisor at Cypress Charter High School, and I am so excited that you made it across the finish line, especially in this super challenging year. Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Ron Indra, and I direct the Safe Schools Project of Santa Cruz County. My name is Rob Darrow. I go by he, him, and his, and I'm the Director of Research for the Safe Schools Project of Santa Cruz County. Hello and congratulations, queer and trans youth class of 2020. My name is Gail Atlansky, and I am the Director of Student Services for Santa Cruz City Schools. Hi, my name is Dr. Keith O. Johnson, and I am the Director of Student Equity and Success at Cabrillo College. My name is Shannon Kelly. I'm the upper school director at Mount Madonna School. And I just want to say congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. Hey there, LGBTQIA plus class of 2020. Greg O'Meara here, principal of SoCal High School. Hi, my name is Todd Harrison. I go by he, his, and him. I'm the vice principal at Pacific Collegiate School. Hi, I'm Bob Kaplan, dean of students at Mount Madonna School and one of our school's GSA advisors and supporters. Congratulations, LGBTQIA graduates of the class of 2020. This is Mr. Kendall, assistant principal at SoCal High School. And I am so proud of each and every one of you and all that you have accomplished. Hello, LGBTQ graduates. My name is Mr. O'Brien. I'm an English teacher at Aptos High School, and I also co-host the Rainbow Alliance there. I want to say congratulations on your special day today. Hello, this is Celine Alvarado Cunio, the Watsonville High Saga advisor and English teacher. I just wanted to say congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. Hey class of 2020, this is Jamie Cutter, teacher and advisor at Delta School. Congratulations, you did it. My name is Deb Tracy Prue and I am a trustee with Santa Cruz City Schools and also the mom of a Harbor High student. My name is Sage Liebenson. My pronouns are they, them, and I'm an administrative manager at the Santa Cruz COE. Hi, 
I'm Jen Salinas Holtz. My pronouns are she and her. And I just want to congratulate all of you who are promoting and graduating, especially the students I have had the privilege to work with as your QSA and GSA advisor at Lakeview Middle School, Alianza Charter School, and the Watsonville Charter School of the Arts. Hey graduates, my name is Lisa, she, her pronouns, and I work with the Pride Club at Aptos Junior High and also direct the Aptos Community Youth Program. I'm so pleased that there'll be graduates like you out in the world spreading encouragement and love to everybody but especially to young people navigating adolescence successfully as you have. So once again, congratulations. I'm proud to be part of the first annual LGBTQIA plus graduation ceremony in recognition of the effort, dedication, and commitment to engage and value our vibrant and diverse community. You are a generation of influencers who are ensuring that we are inclusive of others as we listen and seek to understand opposing points of view. Use your voice and power to build a better world for yourself, your families, and our community. The world is better off with each one of you in it. It is my pleasure this afternoon to be able to offer you some words of advice in your next steps of your journey. One, provide love and be loved. Two, always remember that when you face ignorance, it is an opportunity to help educate others. Three, your voice matters. The very community that celebrates you this evening is the same community that will need your voice and advocacy in assisting other students in the LGBTQIA community in moving through their next steps to their journey. Remember to be a part of that process. I am so very proud of each and every one of you and all of the accomplishments that you have had. I wish you the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. As you prepare for the next steps in your life's journey, I want to share with you the words of Coretta Scott King, who reminds us the greatness of our community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. Go into the world, continue your journey, bring your love and your compassion and your empathy and make our world and our community a better place. Thank you for all you do. And I just wanted to tell all of you that I am so excited to have your compassion and positive energy coming out into our world. Um, we need you. Um, I am incredibly proud of you and everyone loves you. And we're just so excited for you and wish you just the best future ever. So I just wanna say congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. You guys rock. On behalf of the Office of Student Equity, I would like to say to the class of 2020, congratulations. As you continue this journey called life, I want to wish you the best. If you ever need anything while at Cabrillo College, please feel free to reach out to me. This is not the graduation that I'm sure many people were imagining um, or the end to your career in middle school or high school, but um, I am so um, hopeful by what I have seen your generation doing, by the love and the acceptance, um, and it gives me hope for the future. So congratulations. I look forward to seeing what you go on to do to make the world a better place. I can't think of a better set of values that collectively set our theme for today's graduation event. Empathy, community, encouragement, and love. With these values in mind, I wish you all the best, and I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations to all of you. Be safe, be well, and most importantly, be you. Congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. I am celebrating your bright queer future. I use he, him, his pronouns, and I just wanna personally congratulate our LGBTQ plus graduates for the class of 2020 and wish all of you the very best future has to offer. Good luck. Empathy, community, encouragement, and love. Y'all have harnessed these skills and values over the last four years being part of this community and some of you even longer than four years starting in middle school and even elementary school. Um, being active members of the LGBTQ plus I community. Um, take these values and let them be your guide moving forward. 
because the actions that you take in the present is what builds your future. And if you let the communities that you've come from uh, nourish you and give you strength, you all are going to build wonderful futures. We're so encouraged by the continually growing presence of LGBTQIA plus voices in Santa Cruz County and beyond. I wanna give a particular shout out to Stuart Rosenstein and the folks at Queer Youth Task Force of Santa Cruz for their tireless work to make the world a safer place and more welcoming for everyone. Congratulations to the LGBTQIA class of 2020. Um, for those of you that are leaving uh, high school, Aptos High, Watsonville High, PV, best wishes to you. Make uh, your schools proud and um, always be true to yourself going forward, all right? And for those of you coming to Aptos High School or to the other high schools, please reach out to us. Say hello when you get here because we want to meet you. And we're so excited to see you in the coming year. Congratulations on your graduation. Hopefully you'll go forward in the world with empathy. You'll encourage others. You'll have compassion and always remember to love each other. So again, congratulations and wish you all the best in the future. Thanks. I would like to congratulate you and let you know we are so proud of you for your accomplishments and for being out and proud. I have three hopes for you. I hope you will always be kind and true to yourselves. I hope you will achieve your goals and always be proud of your accomplishments. And more than ever, I hope you will always be confident in who you are. You are beautiful and you are strong and we will always believe in you. Best wishes and congratulations, graduating class of 2020. Big congratulations. And a special shout out to all Watsonville High graduates. Go Wildcats. And especially Ezra and Guillermo, congratulations. I am extremely proud of each and every one of you. I know the last couple of months might seem like the only part of your middle or high school experience that you're ever going to remember, but I want you to remember all of it. Remember all the good times and the bad times and all the things that you got through. And I want you to take your resilience and your strength and your light and your compassion and your empathy and I want you to take it out into the world because the world needs it now more than ever. I am overcome with joy and hope to see so many young queer, trans, and allied students demonstrating such resilience, strength, and authenticity in schools today. You stand up for what you believe is right and your thoughtful leadership and advocacy is helping to end LGBTQ plus silence, violence, and creating safer spaces within your communities. It has been an honor to support you in your efforts. Congratulations, class of 2020. I know you will go on to continue changing the world for the better. Congratulations, you made it. We are so proud of you here in this community. and We want you to keep shining and keep being yourselves. Shelly and I have been together for 30 years, but it wasn't until 2008 that we were able to be married. So there has been some progress in our lifetime. A lot of progress. And we love all of you and we're proud of each one of you. Congratulations to the Queer and Trans Class of 2020. And we have a suggestion for you. Find some small container, think of it as a time capsule, and put in it some tokens of memories of this crazy year of 2020, the COVID-19 year. And five years, 10 years from now, you can dig it up and see what you were thinking about and what represented this year to you. And try and find a place to put it where you might remember where it is. So not in a park somewhere. So do remember you are loved, you're a part of a wonderful community, and we're so very proud of you for your accomplishments in, in graduating. We love you all, bye-bye. And good luck. And good luck. I am so proud of you all for having the courage to be yourselves, and I wish you all the best in the next chapter of your beautiful rainbow lives. You know, during this time of sheltering in place and social distancing, it's become really apparent to me how much I value community. And I am just so happy knowing that all of you are gonna be going out into our community 
and making it a better place. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. I want to send out a huge congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. You guys did it. You rocked, despite historic challenges. I so appreciate all that I've learned from you all and how I can best support you. And I'm super proud of all of you. Aloha. Coming out day at our school was a day where my friends and I could be ourselves and boast about it. It was a day where we were all united. That was the LGBTQIA plus moment that inspired me. Pajaro Valley High School graduate. Hello, I'm a hot mess here, president of the Santa Cruz Derby Groms, here to wish congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. Hi there, I'm Travis Becker. I use he and they pronouns. And I'm the proud director at the Lionel Cantu Queer Resource Center at the University of California, Santa Cruz, with a very special message today for our graduating LGBTQIA plus junior, middle, and high school students. I know many of you are probably feeling disappointed, sad, and frustrated. None of us asked to be here. None of us asked for this, and yet here we are. But I'm here today to remind all of you that you are all connected as LGBTQIA plus students and allies to a fierce community and an incredible history of people who have always risen up in times of crisis, who have always found ways to be resilient. And that is something to be celebrated. So today, celebrate the fact that you belong to such a fierce, incredible community of queer and trans people. Know that we are celebrating with you at UC Santa Cruz, all of our LGBTQIA plus slugs, and we are so proud of you. And celebrate the fact that you made it here today and all of your accomplishments. We will get through this and we will be together again. Until then, congratulations and take care. Michelle Brandt, she, her, Director of Trans Families of Santa Cruz County. Congratulations. We love you. And your presence in this world makes it a better place. And we are thrilled to see you graduating and moving on and taking your place in this world. Good luck. Hey everyone, Dina from Santa Cruz Pride here. Congratulations on this milestone. Just want you to know how much we appreciate you and want you to know that you are important. You are valuable. You are our future. And we will be here to help guide you as you move on into this new stage in your lives. Congrats. Be proud of yourselves. We're proud of you. This is Sharon Papo, Executive Director of the Diversity Center. I welcome any and all pronouns. And I want to say to the queer and trans graduates for 2020, woohoo, you did it. Congratulations, rock stars, you made it. And wishing you all the best in all that lies ahead. Congratulations, I'm Susan True, CEO of Community Foundation Santa Cruz County. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. Our globe needs your courage and your resilience right now, so show us the way and congratulations. Hello, my name is Jorge Guillen. I use he, him, they, them pronouns, and I am the president of Pajaro Valley Pride. On behalf of the Pajaro Valley Pride organization, congratulations to the amazing and fabulous LGBTQIA class of 2020. You all did it. Hi everyone. Hey, I'm Charlie Singer and I wanted to wish you congratulations. I'm an intensive care nurse in Santa Cruz County and congratulations on your graduation and good luck to you in the future. Hi, my name is Stuart Rosenstein. And my pronouns are he, him and his and I'm the director of the Queer Youth Task Force of Santa Cruz County. I just want to congratulate all the queer and trans high school, middle school and junior high graduates. I wish you lots of love, lots of success on your next steps on your journey. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Chad Sanger, University Registrar at UC Santa Cruz, and I use they and he pronouns. Congratulations to the queer and trans class of 2020. What you have accomplished in such challenging times is extraordinary. To your families and chosen families, I hope you celebrate with pride and joy. When I graduated from high school, I came to UCSD to be queer, out, and proud. So to those of you who are coming to UCSD or considering UCSD, I can't wait to welcome you to our family. Hi, I'm J.M. Brown, analyst to County Supervisor Bruce McPherson. 
My pronouns are he, him, his, and as a member of the LGBTQIA community, I just want to say on behalf of the supervisor, congratulations on your graduation this year. It's been a tough year, and we're so proud of you and your family. Leslie Reed Harrison, they, them pronouns, PV Pride member. Fierce graduates, change the world, speak truth to power, subvert heterosexist norms, unsettle binary orthodoxies your precious and eternal gift for the world. You are our lawmakers, our lawbreakers, our grassroots, boot stomping, social justice warriors. Well done on graduating. You From the Santa Cruz Derby Girls, congratulations to the LGBTIQ class of 2020. Congratulations! You're inspiring to us. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm a parent, I'm an ally, and I just wanted to let everybody know, congratulations, graduates of the middle school and high school of 2020. You guys did an amazing job this year. Go out there and take on the world. Hi, I'm Rachel morales Horney. I too am a parent and an ally of a graduate and another queer student. I know it's been an extraordinary year with all sorts of difficulties and barriers, but you have all come together so well to overcome all these hardships and just know that you are now at the beginning of creating a new future and you'll do amazing things. We can't wait to see it. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am most proud of navigating my identity and truly understanding the meaning of gender and sexuality, all alongside my closest friends and mentors until I finally found the identity that suits me best. Davey Mobley, they, them, theirs, he, him, his, Cypress Charter High School. Hello there, my name is Dr. Shane Hill. My pronouns are he and him, and I'm a clinical psychologist, and I'm also queer identified. And I've been asked to uh, say something about mindfulness to you uh, because mindfulness is one of my specialties in my practice and what I use every day to get through stress, to get through emotional experiences, to basically be more authentic and to enjoy life more, really. So mindfulness is misleading that title because it's about not being in your mind. Mindfulness means that you will do your best to be in the present moment, to allow yourself to be mindful of what is happening right now um, with all of your five senses. So right now you can hear the sound of my voice, you can see that I'm speaking to you, um, you might look around and see what type of surroundings you're in, maybe feel the, the way the chair feels underneath you, or if you're standing, what it's like to stand on the ground where you're at, using all five senses in order to feel what's happening in this present moment without thinking about it, without interpreting it, without judging it as right and wrong, but simply being with it as it is. And I find that um, if you do this, you do become more somatically aware or bodily aware. You're more inside your body. You're more embodied. Um, and that is one of the best ways of going through emotional experiences or also just completely enjoying what you're enjoying. If you're enjoying a sunset or enjoying talking to a friend or walking along by your house. So I'm hoping that you will take some of these things in consideration and I know that it's helped me immensely and I'm hoping that some of these very quick words about mindfulness will be helpful to you. All right. Congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Jen Hastings. My pronouns are Jen, not he, she, or they. They's okay, but Jen, Jen is best. And I started the Transgender Healthcare Program at Planned Parenthood over 20 years ago and still treasure supporting folks on their gender journey. And I was asked to say a few words and I, I guess it just comes down to love, self-love, love of the planet, love of others, but I think this self-love is pretty hard in our culture where criticism of ourselves, that we're feeling that we're not enough is kind of a, a more prevalent kind of message. So um, yeah, 
Life has not been easy, and I wanted to share a few things that have helped me along the way. Uh, mind, the term mindfulness is interesting. It's, I think mindful is uh, only a tiny piece of it because in fact, it's heartful and bringing together of heart, mind, and spirit. And so my, I encourage you to explore some of the mindfulness practices that are out there. For me, um, remembering to take breath um, when something arises that's difficult, I try to pause uh, that moment between when something difficult happens and my reaction is just that precious, precious time. And when we breathe, it kind of slows it down and gives us the opportunity to hmm, reflect get centered. Being in nature, um, really important for me over the years and has been a, a, a grounding and a place of great resource. Gratitude, remembering gratitude. It's amazing um, how even when things are the heart, they feel like they can't get any worse, but if I remember something that I'm grateful for, it helps me move through this difficult time. And so I want to share um, words that were written thousands of years ago. I don't have the source for you, I'm sorry, but I'm going to read to you about self-love. Break your heart no longer. Each time you judge yourself, you break your heart. You pull away from the love that is the wellspring of your being. Now the time has come, your time to live and trust the goodness that you are. There is no evil, no wrong in you. Your true awareness is pure awareness, aliveness and love. But let no one and let no one no thing, no idea, obscure this truth. If one comes, forgive it, for it is unknowing. Do not fight it, just let it go. Let go and breathe into the goodness that you are. Breathe into the goodness that you are. Be well, congratulations, much love. The LGBTQIA plus program that inspires me is pride. I always feel so happy and proud to be who I am. Jessica Ruiz, Paro Valley High School.